Hello everybody, we are at the Warrior Project here in Fayetteville, Tennessee. I'm Don Counts and we have Linda Williams. Linda, tell us who we have today. Okay, today we have Gloria Gill Meadows uh, on your, the left. We've got Alan Gill in the middle and we've got Warren Gill on the right. And they're going to talk to us about their father, William Gill. All right, who wants to start? Well, I'll, I'll start. Uh, I'm, I'm, so I'm the youngest. No, no, I'm sorry. You shouldn't start with a lie. I'm, I'm the oldest. oldest. <laughs> <laughs> and and uh, we are very uh, proud of, uh, of what our father did. He was a, a fairly remarkable uh, athlete. Uh, and and uh, maybe a, a couple little stories before we get into the war experience, because they play right into it. Uh, he played football at uh, Morgan High School. Morgan uh, School. Uh, Morgan, Morgan Prep Prep School. Prep School. And, uh, and and in Petersburg, and and had, was a had a good career, and one of the stories is uh, Bear Bryant uh, came to Petersburg thirteen times to watch Daddy play football or run track. Now, yeah, everybody associates Bear Bryant with Alabama. He was an assistant coach at Vanderbilt at the time. Then he went to Kentucky. Uh, but he really tried to get Daddy to uh, to go to uh, to Vanderbilt. Uh, but uh, but the uh, uh, Wally Butts was the coach, uh, a very famous uh, Stern coach at the, at the University of Georgia. And not sure about many details there, but somehow or another he convinced Daddy to come to University of Georgia. And, well, and, I uh, remember a recruiter that was yes. a recruiter at the time at Georgia that came to recruit daddy, mm -hmm. and he came to our house many years later, because I, I mean, I was a pro probably about 10 or 12 years old. So I, and he and his wife just drove up, and and then I remember them just sitting on the porch and talking for hours. And- I remember uh, that. Yes, and it was just, uh, he was just, uh, he wanted to look daddy up and found him, and uh, so that was, and he was a really nice, nice man. So. I feel like that helped. He, he was just a good recruiter. He was because yeah. he was such a wow. nice man. Yeah. Well, and, and you know, Bear Bryant was known as a fairly good recruiter. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> yeah. No, you're exactly right. But, uh, Do we need to tell you who Bear Bryant is? Do we need to explain? Uh, <laughs> just Google Bear Bryant. <laughs> <laughs> so, so he played his freshman year, and we we have a scrapbook for if you want more details, but uh, uh, that has a lot about the, how well he played on the freshman year, and and uh, and he was very good, and and then he uh, uh, he started the sophomore year and played uh, one game. He, in that game, he blocked two punts. Uh, and there was some, three I think it's three punts. Three punts, yeah. yeah. Three punts. And, uh, and then he must have gone back to the dorm and just left. And, and uh, the Atlanta paper uh, the, the next Monday said, Where's Bill Gill? <laughs> and, and actually, this article says Bill Gill left uh, to go uh, to, he loved his Tennessee walking horses and he loved his Hereford cattle. And, and actually, Somebody offered to keep his horses uh, uh, for him there, uh, but they, they couldn't find a home for his cows. Well, I, you know how much of that is is a it's a great story. But remember, this is 1940, uh, 41, uh, and the, and the war was heating up. It hadn't started yet, but people uh, people were joining right and left. And uh, now uh, here's here's a program right here, 19. 40 uh, uh, Georgia and Georgia Tech program mm -hmm. that we've got with Daddy's, Daddy's in this one in another. Uh, here's, here's, one, here's a program when he was playing for the Air Force. Later on, we'll, we'll get into that. So we got... Uh, Gloria, I like the way you talked about it. When he got home, uh, he, he had to choose. Uh, there was a choice in the family about Uncle well, Edward or Daddy. Well, from what I understand, and let me say this, our dad never told us anything much about any of this. He never told us about uh, playing, pro I mean, the Air Force team was like a pro team at that time. Mm -hmm. and they had a lot of pro players. Yeah, yeah had pro, and, but he never talked about that. He was a very, extremely humble man. Yes. So I will say that, and, he, and, and 
football. I mean, he, we didn't know this until we read it ourselves about blocking the punts and because well, he just didn't brag about it. One time we were watching the Rose Bowl and they said, I played, I played in the Rose Bowl. <laughs> he did in the bowl, but he wasn't playing for the college. But yeah. he played in the Rose Bowl. Yeah, and he, he played he, the he, Cotton Bowl as he well. He was stationed. Cotton bowl. Yeah, that's right. yeah. He was stationed in California, and I think we decided Amarillo. Mm -hmm. uh, so, and uh, and so he played uh, different uh, teams in different locations. But and I, I wonder sometimes, uh, as Gloria says, you know, we didn't talk about it. Uh, we uh, uh, I wonder. Uh, I'm sure. I'm sure he wasn't ashamed, but he, you know, while everybody else was going to fight, uh, well, this is why we're yeah, I'm getting ready what, to yeah, go. Yeah, that's why you yeah, tell the story. Is that uh, so? They, of course, there were two children, two sons, and from what I understand is that uh, my uncle Edward it was getting ready to go, and he was already married and Older. lived in and old. He was oldest and living in Petersburg and. Uh, so daddy knew that and so he just decided he didn't tell anyone when that he was leaving school and signing up to for the I think it was actually wasn't the air was it Air Force or he Air? joined yeah he joined the Army Air Force Army, it, it, it yeah. was not the Air Force didn't yeah. separate until mm -hmm. 1955 yeah but it was the Army Air Force so he and so he so they, no one else could just do anything else about it because he just said, I, I'm going to, to uh, fight for our country and not my brother. So because he had and responsibilities he, at home. Hey, we heard that from from her, her first cousin. We didn't hear that from any of the other family members. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. <clears throat> it was uh, uh, that told his story later. And I guess it's after daddy had passed away that the first time I knew about it. One time we were watching <clears throat> a, a professional football game and it, the halftime show was dedicated to to some of the really great players but before. And I wish I could remember that there was a tackle. His name came on as a, one of the legendary NFL players. Daddy said, I played against him. He was pretty good. <laughs> and y'all had no idea. Well, and, well that's a, the kind of, Daddy would drop a little comment like that every mm -hmm. once in a while. Well, but I felt like, because he had this, you know, just think that this, this, job he had in the in the service where other people were going you know mm -hmm. getting killed he probably had a little guilt about him mm -hmm. in that he was uh he Shouldn't was playing football he was mm -hmm. he was probably you know the morale that's probably the only reason they had it was for morale and so he was he was a football player to bring up the morale for the for right. the troops and they'd because go and, and have something to cheer to, for and have you know yeah. some good time the movie stars in that show oh, that yeah. uh yeah he would get to uh, there's a movie star that he's with. That's yeah. Janet Blair. Yeah. Uh, and, and, you know, she's not that well known these days, but in, in, in those yes. years, she yeah. was fairly well known. And, and I think there's one, but we've never been able, I mean, I remember seeing it. There's one with Bob Hope, but yeah, we with, found with, that. It, it's disappeared. We don't know what happened. <laughs> and I, I've searched the house high and low, so I, I know that it's, it's not there. <laughs> That's <laughs> pretty amazing. Yeah. He also, uh, he, in one of these programs, we looked it up, and, and he was not, his first year, he was not a starter. Uh, and I remember him telling the story sometime, a little dropped off thing. Uh, he, when he started playing football, uh, he was second string. There was a pro player in the first string. They said, it took me six months to beat him out. <laughs> but I remember wow. he talked about. I remember we, one time we were at a, listening to a football game, and he said that uh, the way they worked is like if when a, when a professional player got injured, you know that he kept his position, you know, until he came back and then lost. But you didn't lose your position by being injured. You got your position back, you know. Uh, but then if you came back and they beat you out, but you didn't lose it because you were hurt. Remember he told me that story one time we were. Watching a ball game. Mm. And That's interesting. He he, uh, uh, I think he enjoyed that career. He did it, it, for this service. He was a tail gunner, and uh, and he had uh, he was required to go up in in an airplane at least once a month for training, and he was a big man. You know, not a giant man. He was like what six one, six two, mm -hmm. something like that. But he was a big man, kind of broad shouldered 
he, it was the hardest thing in the world for him to get in, in, the, in that uh, tail gunner uh, location. He dreaded it every, every, uh, every month to have go go and scrunch up. So did he play football the whole four years or how many I suppose, years? Yeah. Yes, yeah, we think so. Now, he was in, we, I know he was in the Army for four years, so. Because okay. then, and, and he did not go overseas. Mm -hmm. Now, now he, he was stationed in California when, uh, when he was discharged uh, at the end of the war and uh, in Southern California, Southern Cal and UCLA both really wanted him to come to school there. Free ride, all that. Uh, and uh, the University of Georgia wanted him back. And, uh, and I'm not clear, but I think the University of Tennessee also uh, 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 at least contacted him. So, so he, could, he could have made a football career. Uh, I just, I don't, I, I can't explain. Mm -hmm. I, I don't think football was nearly as big a deal or maybe he was just yeah. tired of it. He wanted, well, maybe he wanted to come home and get married. Oh, uh, yeah. Something that? <laughs> farm, farm and getting married, that's probably a real important thing for him right they, now. They were, they were, they were, and as we were growing up, uh, that, uh, he, he, even though he had a distinguished career at the, uh, for NASA, uh, you know, working on the, the Saturn project and, and the, uh, even the early stages of the shuttle. Uh, but he, if you asked him what he did, he always said he was a farmer. He was a farmer. He, he, well, he, he would leave his... the house at 5.30 in the morning and get back home about 5, 5.30, and then he would go work till dark, dark. or sometimes it was already dark, and uh, just then came in for dinner for at or supper at that time uh, at s seven o'clock. Yeah. So and we pretty much had dinner together every every you, night when we were growing up. Do you remember Saturdays on the farm with oh, Daddy? Saturdays, we we did f seven days a week farming in two days. <laughs> <laughs> now, but at, now, but during quail season we got off Saturday yeah. afternoon during quail season. You know, <laughs> you know. But he also went to church on Sunday. That's right. And I, I mean, we'd be there, and he'd he'd fly in because he'd been there, and we'd already be sitting there, and he'd fly in because we were at Sunday school now, and then he would and then he'd take off right after that. And, he and, active and he also never, if if we were doing playing ball, all of us uh, mm -hmm. uh, were yeah, did some ball playing, uh, and I don't think he ever uh, he missed be there. a game. He was there. Yeah, yeah. Mama too. They they they, they were been there yeah. every game. But uh, yeah, he did in. in and he played, you know, football, but he didn't encourage one way or the other. You know, I think the the coaches thought, you know, Warren and I were going to be, you know, the greatest football players that are. We both played and, you know, had decent he careers. He was pretty good. But, uh, but well, they thought, I remember Sam Ezell thought, man, this is going to be the, they going to be the stars. Sam was from Petersburg. Yeah, that's right. so, well, I mean, and but, Jimmy Ellis, too. And Jimmy yeah. Ellis. Yeah. And so well, we, did, we, we weren't the athletes that, that he was. Yeah, I mean, uh, uh, in some of the clippings, that uh, uh, one, one, uh, uh, somebody was writing the history of Morgan School said they called him the best player that ever played for Morgan School, and, and that's saying a lot because they, yeah. there were a lot well, of really yeah, good there was. Uh, players. Uh, Turkey Warren uh, uh, was mm -hmm. a lot of pictures with him and Turkey, and of course Turkey was six five, was a very large man, and uh, Mr. Buddy Marsh. Mr. Buddy yeah. Marsh, he was the manager. Mm -hmm. well, I don't know what he did. He didn't have a uniform. He had a uniform on. I don't know what he was. He was he but he was on the. He was in the picture. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So he's, they were dear friends. Well known. Yeah. Lincoln County. Mm -hmm. but, uh, but I don't know if we got anything else. You ain't. I can't think of anything. I think that tells the story. What'd you say, though? Warren was defensive captain. Well, he, oh. he was the captain. He was the team captain. And I remember y'all playing, but I yeah. didn't know anything about football. <laughs> <laughs> well, think, uh, you can think about, uh, uh, of course, uh, Lisa Clark. I married Lisa Clark, and and she didn't care a thing about football games, but she came and watched me play. <laughs> I, was, I was during the Bobby Van era when I played. Yeah, I remember Bobby Van. Yeah. Bill Haney and Ron Perrin. He's still right. there. Y'all were there during my first first years. years that's right. Oh, really? Oh, yeah. yes. Yes. Yeah. Yeah, that's yes. where I remember. You, now, you were a guidance. Were you no, got, are you no, a teacher no, then? I taught business. Business, the business okay. classes and then T O E C mm -hmm. out in the sheep shed. Mm -hmm. But uh 
Do you remember anything else about your dad? Any comments he made about the service? He, he stayed active in, in the, I guess, the VFW. VFW, he, yes. He stayed active with the all veterans thing. I mean, but. He was proud to be a veteran. That's no doubt yeah, about that. Yes, and, and, uh, but now he, I mean, again, like Glory said, he wasn't, he didn't talk about it a lot. He just, or any of that part. I mean, he was, we didn't talk a lot anyway. I mean, he stayed, he was active in a lot. He was on the, he's a director for the, for the FPU. He was, he was a director for there for, for several mm -hmm. years and, uh, 24 years. And he, but wow. He, uh, yeah. But then he, 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 he did have planning uh, commission. I mean, planning he, commission. Yeah, he was chairman he of the planning was, commission. Farm credit. He was on the farm credit. Farm credit, board. yes. And then he was the one that uh, co op yeah. got co op into Petersburg. Yeah. And, so, yeah. He did. Lions Club. Oh, very active in Lions Club. Yeah, Lions active. Club. Now, yeah. he, he did. When Jimmy Ellis was coaching football there, he had daddy come over there and help him coach a little bit. I remember that. And then I remember Dad saying, you know, he wouldn't, he wouldn't listen to him too much. <laughs> <laughs> well, for some reason, it didn't last long. I, thought, I got the impression that he didn't, he didn't, you know, he didn't, they didn't, uh, we're on the same page, whatever it was. So he didn't do that too long. And, and I'll say this, uh, uh, Betty, if, if there's ever been a more honest, honorable person, I've never met him. He, he, they say George Washington couldn't tell a lie. I, I don't think my father, our father, ever did anything less. Well, the worst thing he did was give me several pretty good spankings, but I deserved every one of them. You probably did in my work. I did, yes. <laughs> you know, it's interesting. I did get in trouble and, uh, sometimes, but uh, he, and, and he could double out some punishment, but usually within a few hours of the next day, he did something good. Uh, he wanted to make sure he yeah. knew this, this was not personal. I still yeah. love you very much. And, and uh, so he, 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 we, we are lucky to have had a father and a mother uh, that we were I very just blessed. You know, and it's like everybody <laughs> says, you wish you to ask more questions. You know, I always hear that. And, and, uh, and you, you just always thought they'd be around, or he, open up and talk more about it, but uh, it they just, both lived to 90. <coughs> they had full rich lives. Yes. Wow. Yes, they, and they, I think all three of y'all turned out pretty good. So yeah, <laughs> that says something still for working on it. <laughs> <laughs> we all had good spouses. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. And that helps a lot. Good, yeah. good, yes, good. it does. Before it does. and after. Yeah. But uh, we appreciate y'all having us do this yes. and explain it. I, I, I'm, I'm proud to be able to do this. Yes, well, we appreciate you. This being is one here. of the the Boyer exhibit is marvelous. It's, so, yeah, people need to come and see it because uh, Linda has done an excellent job with it, and many other people. Lots and lots of hours. You can tell lots of hours from uh, many people, but it and there's some, uh, I mean, pictures and. Exhibits. Exhibit. So you need to come and, and look at it. It's just a. It's I was amazed. It's refreshing to look, come in here and walk and see it. I, I, I saw Doug Gilbert. Uh, uh, I grew up with him. I did not know that he had uh, made uh, a lieutenant, lieutenant colonel. colonel. Yeah. yeah. Uh, it, it just uh, it, I, I thought a lot of him, but I, you know, well, I'm he's certain. from Petersburg. He's well, from Petersburg. Yeah, yeah, and and Tommy Rand, you played he played on the same football. Oh, he was a good. tough football player. <laughs> if he if he was half as good a soldier as he was a football player, he was magnificent, <laughs> and and also a very honorable guy. You see a lot of people in these pictures um, that. Uh, I know when I was young, they were the movers and shakers in town, and these pictures of them when they were young just has amazed me. Mm -hmm. uh, they just, you know, they were young once too. <laughs> well, and, and, and even the, the ones that didn't make it back, yeah, they're always going to be special because, you know, some of those uh, would have just, they would have been very, very good people. Yeah, I mean, our father was blessed to play football. I mean, that, yeah. you know, that, that's a, you know, luckily he, he used his talents that way, which then, again, for it helped him with the morale, I'm sure. It made right. a lot of people look forward to, exactly. you know, Friday, Saturday afternoon or whenever they played. And it was funny to, it would, I mean, because Admiral Kelso, 
uh, it was fun listening to Daddy Neville Kelso talk. That was oh, really boy. neat. Yeah. <laughs> and I mean, because Abram Kelso looked up to my dad, our dad, yeah. because he he, he, he was uh, uh, two year. No, he was Aunt Manero's age, yeah. so a couple of years younger than Mama. But he said he remembered going and seeing him play football in Petersburg. He said that his dad would take him up there and they would go watch uh, Daddy play. Just, wow. yeah. So that's, yes, that was that pretty is, impressive yeah, to see hear that. Okay, did your did your dad, when he got out of the service, did he come just straight back to Fayetteville? He didn't go play ball? Anymore? He didn't no. go to Fayetteville. Petersburg. Petersburg. Oh, I'm sorry. Oh, they wow. wanted, he wanted to be. <laughs> There you go. <laughs> no, they, they, yeah. That's a big difference now. <laughs> <laughs> big difference. Yeah. Yeah. Just ask everybody in Petersburg. <laughs> yeah. They actually, a lot of people still talk about uh, uh, how good Daddy a player was. And Uncle Edward and, and uh, that, yeah, that whole nice. group were, were just uh, remarkable. Uh, but, you know, back then, I mean, it, you know, like now we see uh, these football games on TV. You know, then you know you heard about the game a week a later, week after, after it happened. and then and then uh, then also if even going in as a career, uh, like play football. I mean, I've talked to some others that 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 left service to maybe be a pro pro player, and the, and the money there there was not good money. Mm -hmm. right. I mean, so that wasn't mm -hmm. a very good career like it is now. If you go in there and and, and really you're you know, you'd be better off you know working in a hardware store or farming right. well, that's what that's the important thing farming so it wasn't a very you know you know high, highlighted career or, or really a good career like road like, riches it no was. no so i mean then and then you know his heart was you know with his with the farm you know and, and then and then and probably like i said earlier you know with finding a good wife and so, I, 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 he, like I, like he was Nine years older than seven. Our, seven years older than our mother. So he, his boy, his birthday is ten, fifteen, twenty, mm -hmm. and my mom's was seven, twenty-seven, twenty-seven. <laughs> wow! So they were easy to remember. Yes, <laughs> yes, yes. And my, well, so that my was mom. your mother from Petersburg. <laughs> yes, it was. Yes, my, uh, originally <laughs> from uh, through Belleville. Uh, through yeah, Belleville. From, from, yeah, from Belleville, Belleville to Petersburg. Petersburg. So she, <laughs> she made it come completely. Yeah, but they, they didn't go to school at the same time, so they did not right. know each other, and they met on, out on a hayride that my grandparents had, and after uh, Daddy had come back, and so he... Uncle, I remember Uncle Allen uh, telling the story that he he saw her uh, somewhere, maybe the hayride or something, and he Of he course, came, Petersburg had a movie theater at yeah. the time, too. And, and he, he came back and, and started asking, who is that pretty girl? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> and, and I'll say this, I'm prejudiced, but I think Mama was as beautiful she, um, she was a beautiful, beautiful lady, yes. Yeah. He also she, set she, pins yes. at a bowling alley. I remember you talking oh, about yeah. that after you came yeah. back. You know, you <laughs> didn't set to sit back there at the... Where the in California. Car. In that in California? Or Texas. Uh, yeah. So you had to, instead of the automatic machine, when they knocked them down, you had to be, somebody had to be back there to set them up. <laughs> so he had that job. Oh, he uh, he signed up to harvest lettuce in the California fields. And he lasted, I mean, it, this is pretty, this guy could work. Well, he was in there with a whole bunch of, of Mexican uh, uh, harvesters. He, Daddy lasted one day. He said really? he just Never. could not. Because he's a big, tall guy and bending over all that. Daddy, yeah. uh, could. What, what, another uh, uh, story that just hit me. Uh, when Morgan played Castle Heights in Lebanon uh, one year, uh, Daddy uh, was playing, and Uncle Edward and Papa Gill uh, went up to see the game. <laughs> and a fight broke out. I, it's hard to imagine. I don't know if this is a good story to tell. <laughs> well, uh, it, it's, it's good on Daddy because Daddy uh, did not get in the fight, but my grandfather and, and uh, uncle got in the fight, and both of them broke both hands. They came back with their hands all, and the next day was corn picking. And they couldn't pick corn. Daddy I probably had some hands too, but Daddy had to do a lot more corn picking because his hands weren't broken. Did they plan that? I wonder. <laughs> they were faking probably. They might, yeah, they may just wrap the hands. Yeah. <laughs> they, uh, they were both pretty smart guys. I don't know. But they used to go to Swanee and play in Swanee. And, uh, 
and the right. track and that, yeah. So. I'd hate to see Uncle Everett coming out on football field after me. <laughs> and he was a large and, and, and very powerful man. He was actually a good bit that larger than Dad. Yeah, yeah, and was a great football player. He just yeah. uh, it, it just didn't work out. <laughs> well, we surely do appreciate y'all coming and doing this. Well, thank you very much. Thank you. This we had uh, Gloria Gill Meadows, Alan Gill, and Warren Gill, and Dole Meadows holding a. <laughs> Somebody's gonna do it. I did the work. <laughs> uh, Thank you. She also donated the uh, Ferris's. Uh, well, Ferris he didn't know it, but I think Ferris gave us one of the CDs about him talking about Uncle Alice. Oh, no, Ferris didn't know that yet. <laughs> <laughs> so you say, well, we got three. We saved three for you. Uh, well, you? I mean, Ferris loves the loves to talk about Daddy. Because yes. Daddy, uh, he really grew up. See, grew, uh, Ferris grew up in Nashville. I don't know. He grew up in Nashville, and so he, every summer, he would come to Petersburg, and he would stay. And we didn't really realize this, but where we grew up is where he. We all, I always envisioned him when he came. He stayed where our grandparents lived. You know where our grandparents lived oh. on the right hand side. That was the house that Hal Sanders had that burned. And so we envisioned him coming, staying there, but he stayed where we grew up. And and then, because uh, Ferris, when we were tearing down the Greer cabin, that what Ferris said, well, he was up on top of the roof because my grandfather was telling him to get all the nails and straighten the nails <laughs> because we got to reuse those nails. <laughs> he and he said, that. my, yeah. <laughs> and so, uh, so Ferris loved working with my grandfather and my aunt and uncle, but maybe he it was, was almost a, like a, instead of cousin, it was almost yeah, like, it was a, like a little brother. Life. Yeah. Uh, to clarify, they're talking about Ferris Beasley. Yeah, that's when oh, he got to, Yeah, that's when that's when <laughs> oh. he got a desire to, to be a veterinarian. I mean, he yeah. was he was a city boy, mm -hmm. and mm -hmm. he come down here in, in the summer and stay all the time. Yeah, that's it's what, not. Yeah, we call him Ferris. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Well, no, I think that's it. Okay. Thank you. Thank, Thank you. you. Thank you.